These are two of the most unique and rarest Roblox games. And now what makes this first Roblox game unique? Well, it's one of the only playable Roblox games without an actual name for its own game. Yeah, it's literally just like a blank text here. There's been other games that have had no names on them, but they're not playable anymore. Only this one by uh, Lucifer Rises. Yeah, the game itself is honestly pretty creepy. It gives you all these weird symbols and then teleports you to other creepy Roblox games and also keeps repeating the number above. Yeah, you know what? Not, not a fan of this game, honestly. But this next game is even rarer. It doesn't look anything special, at least not until you see the server size of 123,456,789 maximum Roblox players. Yeah, this is the only one of its kind that is that large. Most other Roblox games can't even go past 700 in size, so having a server size in the millions is just completely out of the ordinary. And the game itself isn't that special, it's literally just a blank game. Yeah, and the reason why this is allowed for only this game in particular is because Sawgoth was actually a Roblox administrator, and only Roblox employees can set the server size past 700. I believe this game was made sort of as a stress test, like even the YouTuber Remainings did a whole stress test, where even at 200 Roblox players joining his game, it started to get incredibly laggy for everybody. Uh, the chat even started getting odd as well, and then at 220 players, well, the server ended up disconnecting everybody, saying fail to connect to the game. But now an even more unique Roblox game is visiting the Roblox Far Lands. If you don't know what the Roblox Far Lands is, well, take a look at my face here, and notice how everything seems totally normal at first, but then if we teleport to this new location, we are now 100,000 studs away from spawn, and looking at our face now, we start to notice our Roblox characters uh, twitching, yet the eyes seem totally off, the mouth is fidgeting a lot, the shapes themselves seem pretty normal, but that's only 100,000 studs, even going to 500,000, it starts getting more laggy, like even other Roblox characters are starting to shake, and uh, my eyes are even like disappearing at some moments, and it only gets worse and worse the farther away from spawn point you are. Yeah, we're now a million studs away from spawn, and then even at two million, this just starts getting more and more chaotic, where if I even try to type something, uh, the text starts getting more and more difficult to read. Let's see, what's the farthest we could go? We're at five million studs now. The shapes themselves are starting to look off as well. Ew, you can like see my teeth. Yeah, we're now 10 million studs away. My whole face is unreadable now. <laughs> and now this is uh, 20 million studs. Jeez, how far does it go again? Ah, what is this? I, I can't even read the text. How far are we? Okay, I can kind of read it. You are 100 million studs away from spawn. Things are totally broken at this point. The next teleport pad takes you to 500 million studs away. No, you won't come back alive. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see this next one. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. We're uh, we're just uh, literally uh, two shapes now. We can't even see anything at this point. But now, have you ever wanted to be in a popular Roblox game? Because you are in one. You're in this game. Every Roblox player. And yes, the game does contain every single Roblox player ever created. It. And it goes in the order of the accounts made. So for example, we've got number one as Roblox, number two is John Doe, three Jane Doe, and then if the account is banned or erased, well, then the game will let us know. And those are just like the first few Roblox accounts. Like I said, it literally contains every single Roblox player, including yourself. Uh, what I will say though, is the farther away you are from spawn, uh, the more chaotic it starts to get. Like for example, to find yourself, you can just type in your username here, put find player, and then you teleport to your account. And this is my number. Again, the text is a little bit illegal. Legible. Uh, and this is my Roblox player. He's got no eyes. Uh, neither does my Roblox character. Uh, again, this is because we're a million studs away from spawn point, and it only gets worse the further away we are from spawn. And yes, I've tested it myself. Even if you're to make a new Roblox account, this game will have that new account. Uh, again, it might be a bit laggy because the new accounts are bordering the Roblox Farlands. And now, have you ever wondered what the smallest Roblox game is? I feel like there's a new small Roblox game every few weeks. Um, but for comparison, this is a normal Roblox character height, and this this is my Roblox character. Like you see, I'm like really tiny. I, I can't even zoom in on my character. I just turn invisible. You can even see like this quarter length of a stud. Yeah, I am literally 0.014% the size of a normal Roblox character. And it looks like they made this whole obby just to test out what it is to play as a small Roblox avatar. All right, here we go. Eh. Eh. All right, just gotta focus. I can't zoom in closer than that because if I do, I just disappear. <laughs> what is this? Can I even jump all the way over there? Uh, I, what? Oh. Ah! All right, but now we're getting to the more unique and rare Roblox games. Like there's literally a whole obby that contains the entire script of the first Shrek movie. Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess. Yeah, the game even tracks how many letters you've walked on. And yes, this is actually an obby. You can totally fall down. So you have to be careful what you step on. Which could only be broken by love's first kiss. Ah! 
Dude, look at how long this is. And that's probably barely even the first sentence. Yeah, and just to kind of tell you how long the game actually goes, um, the entire Shrek movie has 9,574 words with 50,922 characters. Yeah, I've walked on 120 letters. If you guys subscribe and this gets 10,000 likes, I'll do a whole live stream where I have to walk through this entire script. But now this next game is even more rare because it allows you to play with Minecraft players. And yeah, I'm not kidding. See, there's a Roblox player over here, and then this is a actual Minecraft player. Like, they're literally playing on a Minecraft server right now. Yeah, it is actually funny how much taller a Minecraft player is compared to a Roblox player. Um, and just to prove that this is actually legit, I opened up Minecraft, and let's see, I believe I'm over here. Yeah, okay, so in Minecraft, you do actually see every Roblox player as, like, this bacon head. So this is my Roblox character over here. Dude, look, I could see myself. Yeah, look, I could dance around with my Roblox character. Dude, honestly, this is actually pretty weird, but also really cool and unique. Hey, back away from my body, bub. Get, get, get away. I'll blow up this whole server, I will. Let's see, wipe whole server. But Roblox has been getting more unique throughout the years. Like this next game is a whole obby where you have to use your mic to jump. It's honestly a pretty funny game just hearing other people scream. Ah! Roof. Okay, yeah, that, that actually works then. Okay, so the louder I am, the higher my jump star is what I'm realizing. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh no, this is a big jump. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh. And then most recently, there's been another game in which the monster can actually hear you scream. Yeah, so check this out. I'm going to unmute myself. You can see my audio above. And if I'm too loud, well, then the monster starts attacking me. So I have to kind of stay quiet. Wait, yeah, check this out. Ah! Okay, that was pretty close. You kind of have to stay quiet when playing this game, but it's honestly a very unique concept. All right, I'm going to get caught. Hello! Come over here! All right, come on. Attack me. We still have three more unique Roblox games, and they're only getting more and more unique. With this next Roblox game being Roblox inside of Roblox. So yeah, what you're seeing here is a bacon head controlling another bacon head playing Roblox. And I could also control the character just by pressing these buttons. Let me see, let me try to get out of this house. You can also press the metal button to jump, and you can actually get up close with the bot. You can just teleport over here. And yeah, this is the model that people are controlling. Hey, 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 why is there a sus imposter up there? What's going on here? And while this is really cool and all, the bot itself is not actually a Roblox account since it's all literally being played in one game. But in the past, there has been Roblox games where all these people were controlling one Roblox account and they could join any Roblox game ever. Like, let's see, Flamingo and friends are sending the bot over to Bloxburg. Um, they also sent it to that blank Roblox game made by Lucifer Rises. Yeah, look, there's all the symbols again. But not only that, there's been Roblox games where you can literally watch YouTube videos. Like, here's Sari Berry watching her own videos on Roblox, as well as being able to see Stakes live streams. Not only that, but there's been Roblox games where you can literally go on any website ever. Like again, this is Sari Berry going on Twitter through Roblox. And then here's uh, her watching Sniper Wolf. Yeah, it's honestly very pixelated, but still very cool. Uh, but for obvious reasons, a lot of these games did end up getting banned just because of uh, how unsafe it can be. But this next Roblox game is one that you can play to this day. And it's kind of a unique experiment because if you look at all these pixels here, each pixel has been placed by different Roblox players to create interesting art. And here we've got Bluey, We've got Star Wars, we've got Gravity Falls, uh, the United States of America. And now obviously a game where anybody can place any pixel, there's going to be trolls. Here, let me see if I can clean up this water bottle here. Eh. Place. Oh no, I made it worse. What color is that? Is it this one? Okay, maybe this one here. You know what? Maybe I'm just going to leave this art untouched. I feel like I'm making it worse. But yeah, you can literally go to this game and just start either fixing other people's arts, making your own artwork, or just causing total destruction. Oh, look, this nine cat is so cute. Yo, we got my boy Sans. And yeah, you can see the entire artwork just by pressing the C button. And it's honestly very fascinating, but it's still not as rare as this next Roblox creation because it's honestly kind of unique. Uh, Yeah, what you're seeing here is someone who connected their Xbox 360 Connect to virtually place themselves in in Roblox. Yeah, that's literally how they look and what they're wearing and everything. And I believe that's also their room in the background too. Yeah, pretty much anything that the camera sees, uh, it's being displayed onto Roblox. To some degree, it's kind of similar to VR Roblox, where players can literally put on a VR headset and immerse themselves into Roblox, as well as making contact with PC users. Hey, pick me up, pick me up. Ah! <laughs> No, get away. But uh, this guy literally goes the extra mile and putting his actual self into Roblox. Also, stop doing that. That's not nice. But this next game is definitely one of my more favorite findings. 
Yet, so what you're hearing are different remnants of people who had left either their voices or different sounds in this game. So if I click on this one mouth in particular, it was uploaded by R Cape, and it's just like this little high-pitched scream. And this tunnel goes on and on. Like, again, these were all each individually uploaded by different Roblox players. That's the, that's the Five Nights at Freddy's sound. <laughs> it is honestly pretty funny just hearing all the different sounds that people have left in the game. <laughs> okay. Ew, somebody left a fire alarm sound. Am I, am I hearing Mario? <laughs> the PS4! Yeah, I've never heard another game similar to this one, but it's honestly very fascinating. But even then, all of these Roblox games and these Roblox concepts are still not as unique as you. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.